Hey, I'm Pete with RowdyRoman.com. And I'm Ben with Myers Woodshop. And we have the O2R lasers in front of us. If you watched the first two videos, we did one on the OTOR version 1 and one on the OTOR version 2. And we really wanted to put the light burn camera on to these machines because the camera just makes it so oh, much wow, better. Yeah. If you haven't checked out the camera, check out my other videos setting up a light burn camera. I did it with the Orion, my big 60 watt laser, but you can uh, manipulate your graphics and stuff exactly where you want them to go on your material. There's no more wasting material. No. So I believe the only way to use a laser is with a camera anymore. Yeah, it I, makes it so much easier. I will not use it without a camera. It's yeah. so good. But a lot of you have asked, how can we mount that camera onto our lasers? And Pete was kind enough in Fusion to create two mounts for each different laser. So Pete, walk us through the mounts. Here's the version one mount. It mounts directly to the back of your Ortor laser. You can use the existing screws, but I went ahead and upgraded them to uh, M5 uh, by 20 millimeter instead of what it comes with is 15 millimeter. So what I ended up doing is Ben has a laser camera mount uh, on his Etsy shop. So I designed this whole contraption here, but incorporated Ben's camera mount into it. So it's been used, it's proven, uh, it does work. Uh, you can twist it, turn it, and get the camera and the view, uh, what you want of your laser area where you need it to. One thing to note, this mount for the light burn camera is only for the 5 megapixel, 160 degree angle. If you have a different angle, this mount is not tall enough in order to actually see where you need to see in order to impose the image that you're wanting to do on your uh, wood or whatever you're lasering. Okay, so the, the mount and the camera holder is gonna come together in four different pieces here. So you literally stick the camera right into there and it goes right over top. You're gonna have the cord come right through here. So you're gonna see this hole, this is where the cord comes out uh, for the camera, the USB cord. So before you attach everything, you put it through this hole, the, the USB cord through this hole, and then through this camera mount right up under here. And then you're gonna put your camera in and hook it up. And then you literally just pop everything together like so, and it holds there. And then you have this key right here that goes and fits in this little slot. Just like that. And it holds everything together. And once you have it all together, you can rotate and get the camera angle that you need to, that you need in order to see your whole bed. All right, here's version two. If you see, because you have a bigger print bed or a bigger area that you can work with, the mount has to be a lot taller. So when you get this thing in the mail, it's going to come in two separate pieces here. So here's the two separate pieces. You can see the dovetails. I make this on my 3D printer. Uh, and in order to ship it, it makes it a lot easier having smaller pieces and then you connect them. Now with the dovetail, it is a very tight fit. So you actually literally hammer them together. Once they're in, they're not gonna come apart. The same as version one, everything comes out and the camera mounts in the same manner as version one. The only difference is there's no screws that you need to purchase here. It uh, fits into the aluminum extrusion right here on the back. So this fits in the aluminum extrusion. If you already have your Ortor laser, then you're going to have to take the belt off and get access to this extrusion right here so it slides in. Again, the first time you put it in, it's going to be tight. I made that so it doesn't move as much. But once you get it in there with possibly a hammer again, you'll be able to move it to the side, uh, wherever you want it, get it all lined up. 
Okay, so here you have it. Here's two different versions of the Lightburn camera mount. Just make sure if you do not have a Lightburn camera already and you are purchasing one for this, you need the five megapixel, 160 degree angle Lightburn camera. And we'll leave a link in the description below for that Lightburn camera. It'll go right to Lightburn, you buy from them and it'll come in. I think it's around $80. $80. $80 for the camera. For yep. the camera. So, and where can we find these mounts? So these are going to be on my Etsy shop. A couple different ways that you can go uh, to that Etsy shop is you can go to my website, rowdyroman.com. We'll put that right here. Mm -hmm. uh, or you just go to Etsy and you type in Rowdy Roman and it takes you to my shop. You can see everything that is sold there and you will see Ortor version one and Ortor version two light burn camera. Version two is the bigger one. Version one is the smaller one. Links are in the description down below as well. These are made of PLA plastic. Right, PLA money. plus. PLA plus, and they're coming in black, I'm assuming. Black, and but with COVID, sometimes uh, black is not always available. So if I am out of black, I'll make sure to message you and see if you are willing to wait for black or uh, other PLA that I have. All right. So that's it. If you guys want this, make sure to click the links down below. If this helped you out, give a thumbs up. Hit subscribe. You have a YouTube channel? I do. Rowdy Roman. Rowdy Roman yeah. on YouTube. Myers Witch Up on YouTube. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you later. Thank you. Hey guys, it's Ben with Myers Witch Up. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Who are you? Uh, you start. All right.